Let's take you to Washington, D.C. now, and Congressman Todd Rokita, Republican of Indiana. Congressman, you voted nay on the fiscal cliff package. Tell me why. Well, that's right, Michael, and Happy New Year. And to you as well. Night on the floor recently, though. You know, I opposed this bill because I came to Congress because we have a spending problem. Mm -hmm. And that's why I opposed it. And the deal sent over by the Senate not only doesn't solve that at all or puts us on the road to solving that, it makes it worse. You know, so I I just, I refuse to consign our children to a debtor's prison just to block President Obama's tax hikes. It seems odd that that uh, spending was not uh, dealt with at all. I mean, we you know, a lot of us who are a little bit cynical outside of the Beltway in Washington kind of figure Congress would kick it down the road, and that's exactly what we got. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's even worse than a kick the can down the road. It's, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's a complete miss. It's a complete abdication of, of, of responsibility. Now, I, maybe that was a little bit too hard, Michael. Maybe I shouldn't say complete. I mean, for example... Uh, the, the the bill and, and soon to be law now has permanency certainty mm-hmm. for many small businesses and individuals in terms of the tax rates. In fact, in fact, ninety eight percent of filers, you know, at least have certainty in tax rates. And time and time again in Indiana, that's what I hear is what's wanted. Uh, but uh, and it also had an AMT patch, and it, it took it it moderated the impact of um, the death taxes from going up to fifty five percent. There's the five million dollar exemption, which. The Journal and others have said, you know, over a lifetime, when you really add it up, especially talking about farm ground, $5 million might not be that much. And how many times are you going to pay taxes on that money, too? Exactly. I mean, you know. right. So you saved. You did all the good things. You worked and you toiled and you saved. Yeah. And, and, and then what, you, what do you get for that? Instead of passing 100% down to your children or what you, of what you don't use, uh, you have to give 40% off the top to Uncle Sam. Again. <laughs> yeah. So, um, right, right. Uh, so some good, but uh, you know, there were some good things in this. I won't say complete, but, but spending is going up at least three hundred and thirty billion dollars over the next ten years. Going up. That's new spending. So, yeah, I've been calling the the fiscal cliff, uh, the fiscal pothole in Indiana, and that's because th- th- this isn't, this wasn't, and isn't the fiscal cliff. Uh, the fiscal cliff is yet to come, and we are still careening towards it. And that is our out-of-control spending being driven uh, by the social entitlement programs that are on autopilot right now. We're talking with Congressman Todd Rokita. He's a Republican of Indiana. He voted down uh, the fiscal cliff plan. However, obviously, it's still passed. Let's also take a look at one of the other aspects of uh, what took place as well. as Most of us are going to be spending or, or, or having more taken out in taxes, and, and that wasn't really something that was discussed a heck of a lot. That little vacation we had from the recession is is over. Well, that's right. Uh, the, the payroll tax right. uh, went up to its what uh, you know honestly its 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 previous levels. Right. Uh, so, but that will be money that is again uh, given to the government to pay for these social entitlement programs, albeit. And uh, and also, we're not able to spend that money in, in our in the economy. That's my point. Yeah. And, and it's not just the payroll tax, but think about the twenty or so new taxes that have come online that this good deal didn't uh, deal with. Uh, regarding the Affordable Care Act, otherwise known as Obamacare. Mm-hmm. All, all of a sudden, the Affordable Care Act, is, it, as we've been trying to warn folks for years now, is not so affordable. 20 new taxes, including a 3.8% surcharge on any of your capital gains, which would include a house sale, uh, would include an, any, any stock sale, and any of your investments. Again, we're punishing people who do the right thing by saving and investing. And... Um, and, and taxes are going to be going up because of it. Representative Todd Rakita, Republican of Indiana, joining us from your nation's capital. Thank you, sir, for being with us. Thanks, Michael. Look forward to it.